Hey, I'm Grady Whidden with Vans Equipment Company in Moultrie, Georgia. We design and manufacture sprayers and nurse tanks for residential use, agriculture use, hunting clubs, you name it, we got a sprayer for it. So today with springtime coming up, um, everybody's thinking about starting to spray their yard, spray their food plots, getting ready for turkey season, fire breaks, I mean, you name it, everybody's getting ready to start keeping up with the weeds. So the first step in keeping up with weeds would be sprayer calibration. So today we're gonna to talk about how to calibrate your sprayer, specifically a boomless setup. The first step in calibration, what I would recommend is probably gathering your tools up. You're gonna need a few things to get it done. First step is gonna be a measuring wheel or a, a long tape measure. If you got a measuring wheel, that'll make things a lot easier because you're gonna be dealing with some pretty long distances. Second, you need some marking paint or some flagging tape or some flags, something to establish your starting and ending point on your, your long run that you're gonna be timing with, with your phone or a stopwatch. Um, next up will be some measuring cups to catch your water. You can use a bucket, but you're gonna need something with ounces that, that break down the ounces so you can actually measure. Um, the bigger the measuring cup, the better. It's gonna make it easier on you. Probably wouldn't grab one out of the kitchen of, of your wives. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna be measuring a little while. Um, next up, you probably need a, a calculator. I, we've all got them on our phones. So you got your calculator and your stopwatch there on your phone. So that's a good starting point. So you got your tools and you got your information. Let's go calibrate. So we've got a KLC tip on this sprayer. Um, the first step that you need to look into or figure out is how wide of a swath your tip or your sprayer is gonna cover. You wanna turn your tra crank your tractor up, turn your PTO on, get your pressure up. Most of the time, we recommend 20 to 40 pounds of pressure. And you wanna get your spray width at the same RPMs that you would get if you were spraying. So most people spray about 2,000 RPM. So we crank the tractor up, get the PTO going, get it to 2,000 RPM, turn your tip on, and then measure your swath. And that's from where you can feel droplets on one side to where you can feel droplets on the other side. We measured ours at about 24 foot is what our KLC tip is spraying in, in the conditions of the day at 2000 RPM. So of that 24 foot, we recommend you take about 85% to allow for some overlap and to make sure that you get good coverage. So of that 24 feet doing 85%, that gives us about 20 feet of an effective spray pattern. So figuring that we're covering 20 feet, there's 43,560 square feet in an acre. So we want to divide that by 128 to get us to 100, to one 128th of an acre. So that number is 340.3. So if we divide that by our effective spray pattern of 20.4 feet, that gives us 16.68 feet. So it's kind of hard to, to get a good time off of that short of a distance. So we're gonna multiply that by 10 to give us 166.8 feet. 167, you don't have to be that exact. So that is the distance that we need to travel, which is 167 feet. So now that we've got that established, we need to think about what gear and what RPM, which is 2000 RPMs, because that's what we established our swath off of. So what gear can we comfortably run in with 2000 RPMs. With this particular tractor, it's medium range, second gear. We need to establish a starting point and an ending point that would give us 167 feet. So what we wanna do is find our gear and our RPM, which is 2000. We wanna find a comfortable gear and we wanna be in that gear and traveling when we get to our starting point. So I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna get in a good gear and get going, and then when I come by our starting point, I'm gonna go off the front wheel. When it crosses that starting line, I'm gonna hit my timer and go ahead and start it. And then when my front tire crosses the finish line, the 167 foot mark, I, when my front tire goes across it, I will stop my timer and that'll give me how long to catch my liquid. So with us running 167 feet, 2000 RPMs, medium range, second gear, it took us 29 seconds to cover that 167 feet. So now we know we gotta catch our, our liquid for 29 seconds. So we do that in a measuring cup, a bucket, whatever you got available. So since we worked it back to one 128th of an acre, whatever we catch in ounces will uh, translate over to gallons per acre. So we catch our liquid, 
I think we ended up catching uh, 128 ounces. So being that we multiplied by 10, we need to divide by 10 to work it backwards. So that gives us 12.8 gallons per acre. So we have 50 gallons divided by 12.8. So in this tank, we're gonna get 3.9 acres per tank. So if we're spraying glyphosate at a quart per acre, we would multiply that by 32. So we would need to put 125 ounces of glyphosate in this tank to get a quart per acre on 3.9 acres. So we've, we've got our boomless setup calibrated. On our next video, we're gonna calibrate a boom sprayer. It's not a lot different, but there is a, a little bit. So kinda wanna run through that with everybody. And also mention that at Vans, we've got a 25 gallon all the way to a 500 gallon. We go up to a 20 row sprayer. So basically anything that you need, your sprayer needs, we've got you covered. We've got dealers from Tennessee to Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, and Florida. So all over the Southeast, if you're looking for a sprayer, if you've got questions, if you've got sprayer needs, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're here to help and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.